Natalia on Luxury with Natalia in Monaco today with a special guest, a Monegasque even, <laughs> Melanie Hassels. I am so excited to have you on, especially that we met a long time ago. It was at an aviation event, in fact, in Monaco, and your story just inspired me and I thought I have to have you on my show. <laughs> How are you today? Well, listen, I'm very good. I'm happy yeah. to be back here in Monaco. Yeah. It's not so often, but my family is here, mm. so it's nice to just visit them and, yeah, take a bit of a time out. Of rest here. Yeah, because you, yeah. you never get any time out nowadays. It's like yeah. you're constantly on the go and the adrenaline never stops. That's so exciting. Yeah. So tell me a bit more about how you rose to where you are today, five-time champion of France and well, competing with some of the best pilots out there in some incredible situations, unheard of. Tell me a bit more. Yeah, so the story started uh, when I was a little girl. I, I would say about around six years old, I went to an air show with my parents and I, wow, I was suddenly amazed by uh, these planes flying around. Uh, no one in my family is uh, from the aviation uh, mm -hmm. industry, so it's really something that belongs to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I could say also the movie, The, the Never Ending Story, where you get this little boy who oh, goes around so the world on his dragon and yes. through the mountains over the yeah. sea and I was like, well, I would like to have my own dragon one day and do the same thing as him and like travel around the world on my plane and oh. yeah, this is what's going on now, so it's cool. Wow, yeah. that's fantastic. So the dragon is now transformed into an aircraft and this aircraft, how fast does it go? So I have a extra 330, which is a one-seat aircraft. Mm -hmm. It's a really like a Formula One of the sky it's well it can go up to 405 kilometers per hour maximum speed mm -hmm. it can even go backwards wow <laughs> so it's just an amazing aircraft uh -huh. you can fly uh, what we call g's is a uh, gravity mm -hmm. so you can fly 10 g's which mm -hmm. is 10 times your body weight mm -hmm. which is it means it's very solid and uh, and it does one turn and a half mm -hmm. in one second Oh my goodness. So it's very fast. The wow. Way so I recently went on a roller coaster and I, it's been years since I did that and I felt really rough. So I can only imagine how this feels. <laughs> how do you keep your control and how do you ch um, train for this? It, it sounds like it's quite challenging, right? Yeah, it is. So to keep, uh, I mean, it's a triangle between uh, the fitness, mm -hmm. so you need to be very fit. Yeah. Uh, there is the mental training also, uh, psychological training, and there is the technical training. So basically, uh, you need uh, one third of each. So uh, there's for the physical part, it's a lot of, um, basically, you need a good cardio. So it's a lot of interval training. And you have to be uh, very, uh, have a good core, mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of core training. And then uh, I work a lot to be able to fly like men, let's say. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, so I work a lot on um, bodybuilding and um, speed, agility. Ah, right. So yeah. So it's my style of flying is very dynamic. Okay. Yeah. So it's not the feminine style at all. You go out there. Yeah. That's <laughs> it, exactly. Yeah. If we could call it a feminine style, I'm out of it, and I'm trying to yeah. fly like uh, very. Uh, Masculine <laughs> I've seen you flying. In fact, you were in um, in the Can Monte mm -hmm. competition. It was yes. it two years ago or yes. so. It was amazing. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and yeah. such a cadre as we say yeah. in French too. It's beautiful yeah. with the mountains and the sea. Yeah. So tell me a bit more. Are we going to see some competitions coming to Monaco maybe? Ah. So I've been uh, thinking about it for many years, and uh, for me it would be amazing to construct something in Monaco and have uh, at least uh, something like an air show or race and uh, I'm sure the um, well the general uh, place is uh, very good for that and mm -hmm. hopefully we can build something there mm -hmm. the, the race has uh, Red Bull has stopped the racing since uh, 2019 okay but there is a new project coming on with uh, very interesting uh, features so mm -hmm. I'm still hoping about uh, flying in Monaco yes we need to get an airport now in Monaco I think yeah. we need to <laughs> yes. build the runway so well they're <laughs> building more land yeah, in the that's sea that's it just perhaps. build the runway on the sea yeah. and, and we'll be there <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. well now things are changing innovation and all and think how do you find technology in terms of what you're doing? Is it developing? Is it changing? Or is it very much standard and classic or how it's always been? Yeah, it is actually the... I mean, it's the aviation. It's uh, in evolution all the time. Mm. It's uh, There's a lot of new technology. We have electrical planes now also. Cool! That are, there's a new race with electrical planes. Wow! So that could be also an idea. Uh -huh. Uh, we have uh, also on the aerodynamics, we try and improve. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's still 
not like Formula One yeah. or it's not as uh, sharp, but it's really uh, improving a lot. Because it's mm. quite dangerous. You're in the air and every second counts and every single well false maneuver could lead to something quite phenomenal. Okay, it's the same in Formula One, but yeah. you're yeah. a little bit in the air there, right? Mm. <laughs> the thing the is, if you have a problem, you can't stop yeah. immediately. So yeah. you need to land the plane. Uh, basically, when we're flying uh, over water, uh, we in the, the air races we have some teams mm -hmm. uh, below who are ready to ah. get us if we have a problem. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen, but we prefer having people below in case something yeah. happens. Yeah. Because if not, it's difficult. Of course, yeah. <laughs> you can't just wow. stop like that. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I saw that you also were in was it 2018 in Cannes? They mm -hmm. did a competition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How cool was that being like in back in your territory, let's say, from yeah. your childhood? It was very uh, emotional for me mm. because I, uh, for the story, I, I quit uh, Monaco and school when I was 18. Mm. And uh, like on a big uh, deception, I was uh, discouraged to live my dreams and uh, people at school were telling me it's not for me to be a pilot mm. and just do something else. So I left, I quit here very disappointed at 18 years old. And I flew at 36, so 18 years later. Mm. So just imagine uh, 30, uh, 18 years later, I come back with all my dream accomplished, mm. but even more than that, like mm -hmm. uh, it was really, uh, I love speed, I love adrenaline, mm. and I wanted to fly, and I have all of this together. And I was flying there in Cannes, in La Croisette. Exactly, mm. I've got goosebumps now. <laughs> I love these stories, this is what it's all about. So tell me your motivation, what really drew, drove you to go for the stars, reach for the stars mm. and go for it? Uh, I think I have this um, power of will, which is quite uh, extraordinary, and uh, I I like to feel I, I like to push the others also to, to do the same mm -hmm. because I used to be scared of doing things mm -hmm. and uh, realizing that when you get out of your comfort zone, this is where things happen. Yeah. And you know, the more you get out of it, and the more you can go further and further. So it's basically uh, just yeah, the the will to show people uh, that they can go a lot more far than they think mm -hmm. they can. So you yeah. have an obstacle, you have to just think, mm -hmm. yeah, it's there, but go beyond it yeah. and mm -hmm. don't let anybody say, no, it yeah, can't be exactly. done. Because mm -hmm. that's a lot of the time the problem, that mm -hmm. you rely on other people or you kind of think, ah, oh, this is not good enough for me, but no, mm -hmm. and especially women, yeah. that's also a, a big uh, concern, let's say. Mm -hmm. But it's nice to see here in Monaco, you have the Air League Monaco, yeah. which you're very much passionate mm. about to attend when you can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. And to help um, the new generation mm. of potential pilots or those interested in aviation to, to actually go into it and mm. find out what it's about. So tell me a bit more about what you do in that context. Yeah, so I like to several things. I like to fly air shows because when I fly an air show, this is a moment where I'm not in competition, mm -hmm. so I can really spend time with uh, with the kids and with the passionate people. Mm -hmm. And it's like when I was young, I was on the other side of the barrier, and it's just nice to bring people, sit them in my plane, mm -hmm. and show them uh, uh, exactly how it works, mm -hmm. and and also answer the questions. I receive a lot of email that don't always oh. have time to, to yeah. answer all the questions, so I do my best. Yeah. But when I'm there uh, for the people, it's nice because mm -hmm. I can share and. Also, I try as much as I can with my time to go in schools mm -hmm. and share with uh, little girls and little boys. Oh, that's amazing! Just to well, to to show them that the dreams are possible. Mm. May, most of them maybe don't want to become a pilot, but yeah. just showing them that don't listen too much to the adults and just yeah. listen to your heart. Go for your and, passion. Yeah, go for your passion. Even yeah. if it's not maybe going to result in it yeah, one day, exactly. but absolutely enjoy and relish that moment, right? Yeah, exactly. oh, At least if you, I was going to say the, the happiness isn't the, the destination. Yes. This is what we say often. It's uh, enjoying every day, uh, fighting towards your dream. Mm -hmm. And we're looking about the obstacles. It's like try and try. It's not always possible, but it's often possible. Mm -hmm. Try and find the positive in all situations. Mm -hmm. Even when something bad happens to you, mm -hmm. try and think positive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. And mm -hmm. also your favorite quote is by Steve Jobs, is it mm -hmm. not? Which one is it? 
Uh, <laughs> oh, you've got a few. <laughs> yeah, I, don't I saw it on your website. Yeah. There was something about you do a job that you love. That you love. Yeah, yes. you'll never feel like you're working uh, That's in right. your life. Yeah. 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 Mm. And that exactly. is such a key thing to mm. take away from this yeah. conversation, I would say. And, and yeah, just mm. go for it. Yeah. So what's happening next in terms of <laughs> Melody? Where are we going to see you? Ooh, there's a lot of amazing things happening. Uh, I'm, so in the next uh, steps, I'm going to fly in Chile. Oh. Uh, so I'm going to represent the girl power in aviation really? in Chile. Really? Awesome. Uh, it's, a, it. it's a very big air show, which is an uh, um, international um, aviation uh, mm -hmm. expo. So it's, I'm going to be flying 12 uh, flights over there, the nice. Trajan flights. Uh, then I'm going to fly the British Championships because mm -hmm. I'm British and I'm French. That's right. So mm -hmm. I'm British as a champion mm -hmm. and uh, in 2019. So I will fly the British Championships and the French Championships. Congrats. And then after we have the, the World Championships in August mm -hmm. uh, and the, the European Championships. Uh, Goodness. In also in August. Fantastic. It's yeah. a very busy very schedule. Busy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so how are you going to train or, or diversify your time? Are you? Yeah. Well, basically, when uh, well, this is the season is starting uh, around uh, March. Okay. So where I really start training. Uh -huh. So now it's going to be uh, training and uh, competition mm -hmm. and sometimes a few other things. But, uh, but and then in winter it's more like keynote speeches and. Mm -hmm. uh, like a business and all of this. Right. Yeah. Wow, such a mm. fascinating mm. thing. And I see you you're wearing the Red yeah. Bulls badge mm. very mm. proudly. Yeah. It's so nice. And I'm sure the community here in Monaco are very proud of you for doing what you've achieved and France more friends, right? <laughs> He's got the, the French hat on for yeah. the championships. But uh, isn't it wonderful? And I'm very grateful for your time. Thank you. <laughs> and for being an inspiration to everyone watching there. And of course, if you're following, you've got an amazing Instagram account. Yeah. Yeah. And mm. some some else, you have uh, a YouTube? I have a website. A website. Melodiastools.com. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I have a Facebook. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Yeah, exactly. So you're like the new generation who are giving out your mm -hmm. expertise and your amazing achievements to mm -hmm. others to be able to enjoy yeah. and get to That's it. Yeah. And go on the way of their dreams. Yeah. Stop living your dreams. Amazing. Yeah. And on yeah. that note, <laughs> we end this amazing interview. Thank you so much for coming My on. My pleasure. <laughs> and I'll see you in the skies next. <laughs> Super. <laughs> and you can come and fly with me now because I have a two-seater oh, aircraft. You're joking. Yes, and I'm going to start doing some rides. Uh -huh. uh, from uh, May uh, 2020. Okay, I'm so in. You can <laughs> me in Avignon and get yeah. the experience of flying uh, this amazing experience of uh, flying aerobatics. That flying is, upside down. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I had a colleague who was in aerobatics and she was mm. telling me all about it and yeah. I just I just couldn't imagine how it could be. <laughs> yeah, but now great. I could. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right, so we'll do that next episode coming this year sometime. I will be with Melanie in a plane just doing little videos yeah. saying I'm in it and I'm doing it and then you can judge for yourselves how I feel after. <laughs> Thanks everyone and thank you so much Melanie. My pleasure. <laughs> this is an episode of Luxury with Italian. More episodes coming soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye!